All right, so it appears that it lagged during the big first inning for the Big Cotters. They got three runs on a two-run triple by Brady Lang and then a RBI single by Sam Holvey, and it's 3 nothing Now, Brady Lang just got hit by a pitch. Tawari grunts into a fielder's choice and then a strikeout for Sam. Connor out here dealing so far. Give up a walk to half, then a double play. Good work so far. Joel really, really slumping, man. And he gives up a hit to the pitcher. That's not good, but he's still scoreless. Good work. Base hit Nate Reed and a double for Brady Lang. Can Kieran drive him in? No, he goes out. Connor absolutely mowing him down. Big Cutter offense has seven hits off Hendricks. Joel finally with a knock. Tim up at the plate. Fielder's choice. One down for Troy. And he grounds into a double play. Connor gives up a single to Bryant. Strikes out Clint Frazier. Strikes out Contreras. Hits Bodie. They're probably going to go pinch hitter here. Jim Cotter's going to stick with his starter. And he gets through seven scoreless innings. He is absolutely dominant. They are going to pinch hit for him now. Who shall we pinch hit for him? We'll go with Jordan. Your attention, please. He pinch strikes hit. out. Jordan. And a solo homer for C.J. Smith. He's got another two-hit game. Unbelievable. Nate Reed singles. Brady Link, two a two a two walks now. Kieran with an RBI now single. This four. one's broken wide open. Bases Number loaded, 89. one out for Joel. Robert. And he hits a grand slam. That's a way to bust out of the slump for Joel Salen. A grand slam. 9 nothing. We can throw the bums out of the bullpen. Welsh, I know you're low on energy, but just get some innings here because this is a blowout. We don't care how many runs you give up. All right, now we'll pinch hit. And nothing victory. All right. We back. Sorry, I was eating something. All right. Ten nothing big cotter win. CJ Smith, another multi hit game. Nate Reed, four of five. Brady Ling, two hits and a walk. Two RBIs. Sam Holvey, two hits. Joel with two hits and four RBIs on the Grand Slam. Great offensive day for the Big Cotters. And uh, Connor Rourke once again absolutely dominates. Brady Lang double, triple. Uh, CJ Smith went yard, his seventh. Joel's fifth. Nate Reed's sixth. Rourke seven shutout. Welsh and Coley shut it down behind him. And a big-time victory for the Cotters. We'll show some stats and award races uh, after after this here. I also want to see how many straight games CJ has multiple hits. It's got to be like five. Swear to God, he has two hits in like five straight games. <clears throat> Let's take a look. So obviously he did it in this game. I know he did it in the last game too. Shit, it makes me scroll three in a row. Definitely. Last night he had one. Damn. What's his hit streak, though? Man, because I already took a day off. And, all right. So four straight games with multiple hits for CJ. Let's check and see. What does it want me to do? I don't fucking care about these assholes. All right. Awards. Award races. Oh, man. No big cotters in the MVP race through about 20 games. That's pain. Cy Young. Where the hell is Connor Rourke? That is just absolute bullshit. Batting title, no. James Kennedy, reliever of the year so far. Five saves, eight Ks, no runs. All right. All right. Hank Aaron, no. Any gold glovers so far for the big cots? Man, uh, Sam Holvey not even in the top three after winning it last year. Joel's not in there. CJ's not in gold glove. That's a bullshit. Man, they are snubbing the Cotters here. All right. 
Well, we'll check some overall stats here so far. Cotters have played 21 games so far. C.J. Smith, very good start to the year. Hasn't walked much, but it doesn't matter because he's getting hits all over the place. OPS over 1,000. He's gone deep seven times. Nate Reed's been awesome, too. Man, those are great numbers. His OPS over 1,000. He's gone deep six times. Brady Lang finally playing like a 99 overall. Look at those numbers compared to last year so far. His OPS damn near 1,000. It's gone yard four times, walked 12 times. Joel, the only guy kind of struggling, but hey, had a two-hit game, had a grand slam last game, starting to turn the corner maybe. We'll see. Sam, very good start. Kieran, fantastic. That is really good year so far from him. Only one homer, though. He had 16 last year, so I guess there's still time. Tim has gone yard four times. Pretty similar numbers to last year so far. Better slugging, though. He's got four doubles, four homers. All right, all right. Austin Cotter, not great, not great. He could be doing better. Definitely could be doing better. He's only gone yard once. Owen has had 27 at-bats. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Has any of these bench guys done anything? 17 at-bats for Ben Keefe, and he's actually playing pretty well. Okay, okay. Troy Williams has been splitting time with Cott. 28 at-bats is not doing anything, but he has walked nine times. Nathan has three at-bats, one of three, three walks. Okay, okay, he's hitting the ball. 13 at-bats for Jordan, 308. Okay, four of 13, and uh, that's it. And then pitching, go to the rotation. Connor, 4-0, oh, 1.01 ERA, whip at .79. In 35 innings, he struck out 31. Unbelievable. Jackson, very good start to the season, 24 innings, 263. Kyle Toth, not bad at all. Four games started, 3-0, 3 ERA. Whip under one. Greg Terry has been struggling for sure. You want to see that get a little bit better. And then Mike Farmer also heavily struggling through four starts. Has only pitched 16 and two-thirds innings in four starts, man. Lack, we'll just look up there. 1-4-6 ERA. Black's pitching well. Tucker, very good start to the year. Max Marcus, not good. Michael Handel, really bad. Matt Walsh, hey, Matt Walsh, turnaround year for Matt Walsh, maybe. Theo Coley, okay, five innings, four innings for Drew, hasn't allowed a run yet. And J.K. IV, five innings, no runs, eight Ks. All right, good start to the year for the Big Cotters. On to the Mets series. We'll sim the first game. Lugo is trying to close you out. 6-5 game. Big Cotters have four runs in the bottom of the ninth. So the Big Cotters are down 6-1 heading into the bottom of the ninth. They have four runs, and Ben Keefe is at the plate with the tying run at third base. Oh, boy, we got to hop in for this one. We got to hop in for this one. Ben Keefe is going to choke the historic comeback for sure. Why is he hitting, Jim? Pinch hit for him. Do we have any good players on the bench? If they do, I'm going to pinch hit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a quick now look here, Jim. Number 34. Ben Keefe at the plate. He's got 67. He's got 62 contact. We're not going to put up with that. Tim Wallace is on the bench here, so that's who we're going to go with here. He can't play second, but you know what? I don't really care. We're just trying to tie this game. We let Ben hit. What is... Tim's uh, attributes against righties. He's got 66-83 compared to Ben 62-43. All right, we're, we're hitting Tim here for sure. All right, Tim, let's go. Your attention, please. I'm taking over Jim now Cotter's job. I do not have trust in Ben Keefe. Mm -hmm. I apologize, but it's yeah. a huge at bat. Two outs, first and third. Big Cotters have four runs in in the inning. Better make sure the stream isn't lagging. Ball. Ball one. Come on, Tim. Good matchup for him. He rakes off righties. There's a Ball. curve. Nice layoff. This is the two spot in the order, so that must mean Brady Wings on deck. I I probably sh I probably saw it in the last screen. I just can't remember it. Two zero. Come on, you're gonna get a pitch to smack here. All right, all right. Follow it off. Gotta be ready for that fastball there. 
Just need a single. All right, he wasn't anywhere near your head. That's a little bit... Uh, I don't think he was throwing at you, given it wasn't anywhere close to you, but okay. 3-1. Don't be a he pussy and throw it. over. He's not going to steal. Let's go. Walk here is fine. Got a good hitter on deck, I'm assuming, unless Jim Cotter was drunk with his lineup. Oh, um... God damn it. That's ball four, bruh. That's pretty close pitch, though. Can't complain too much, but man, looked like ball four to me. All right, three, two, two outs. Pitch coming on the ground. Diving play. I don't think he's going to get him. He's going to beat it out. We're tied. We are tied. Tim Wallace puts it in play. J.D. Davis cannot make the play, and it's a five-run ninth inning for the Big Cotters. Unbelievable comeback. Wow. Look up there. One run in the eighth, five in the ninth, and the Big Cotters have tied this game at Ladies six. And, and another pitching please. change for the Mets, now Jordan Yamamoto. Number 45. And the hitter will Jordan. be Joel. Joel. 0 of 4 on the game, so he's really struggling, but no one will remember his stat line if he can deliver a walk-off nuke right here. Ball. There you go. Ball, ball one. Curve ball. Jordan Elliott's got speed on second. He's got 68 speed. Not bad at all. Should score on a single. That's a cutter. Two and two. Oh, man. That pitch was right there. Joel really slumping right now. But, hey, five-run ninth inning. Massive comeback for the Cots. Can't complain. Only issue here is how the hell is the defense going to look because Tim Wallace replaced the second baseman in this game. He's playing out of position at second. Yeah, I know. So here, I'm going to try to big brain this real quick. Yeah, can I click the button or what? Bruh. Is my fucking controller not working? All right, hold on. I gotta see if this other controller works. Bruh, my fucking controller won't work. All right, I might have to end this. What the fuck is going on here? How the hell does my controller just want to stop working, bro? This is some bullshit. What the fuck is going on, man? fuck is going on bro I can't even press anything I'm gonna have to like exit out of the game which is gonna lose the progress for this absolute massive comeback bruh this is like a historic ninth inning comeback and I'm gonna have to quit out of it damn man I gotta just wait it out and see if it starts working for like a couple minutes cause I don't wanna lose this game but Fuck this, bro. Yeah, I mean, if I exit the game, this game is just going to not be played. Like, I'll go back into the calendar and I'll just have to replay this game. I think. This is such bullshit, bro. What do I even do here? I, mean, I don't think there's any fix for this. Well, stay on the stream here. It's probably going to, like, go to that blue screen for, like, two minutes while I reload the game, but stay on because I'll be back soon.